Hey, Parker York Smith here. Welcome back to my channel. An absolute essential in the world of sneakers. Everybody needs a pair of these. We're talking about them today. The Converse Chuck Taylor. Can you believe people used to play basketball in these things? Like some of the most classic players played in these. That's nuts. Originally designed for basketball, as I just said, by, you guessed it, Chuck Taylor. You see it right there on the inside. The reason the logo is on the inside of the shoe like this, a lot of people don't seem to know it, is because it would protect people's ankles. When they would rub them together, it wouldn't wear the canvas in. So they put this little rubber stamp in there. It actually, I think used to even be sewn in like a full on external rubber piece. So when you're running, you're playing your hoops, you're scoring, I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. That's why the logo's there instead of on the outside. So we're gonna be talking about how to style these in a few different ways today. I'm only gonna be touching on the high tops I do also have a pair of low tops that you've probably seen in some of my other videos, but I wanna focus on the highs because I just think these are more versatile. I think they're more stylish and that's what I wanna do. So that's what we're gonna do. In terms of colors, the all white is my personal favorite because they, they get a little bit dirty. You can keep them clean, but at the end of the day, it just kinda of adds a lot of character the more you wear them. So I'm really partial to these. Also, they match with pretty much everything, but there's the black, there's the navy blue, red. They've got really fun like yellows and tie dyes. I mean, you know Chucks, they've come in every kind of color, every kind of style. In terms of styling them, as I said, they pretty much go with anything. So I'm gonna show you a quick outfit that's good. Uh, casual spring, we're gonna do a casual summer because it's coming, baby. It's almost here, I'm so ready. And then we're gonna go a little bit more business casual, like a weekend night out and something that's borderline like formal. So for the casual spring look, go with just a slim, nice pair of dark denim as we always are using. Throw a couple of cuffs at the bottom of your jeans. Have it land right around the top. You can have them cropped a bit. These work great with a cropped pant if you wanna show a little bit of a pop of color from your sock. Otherwise, just have the pant land right around the top of the shoe. For the top, a simple basic tee works great. I'm all about graphic tees this spring, so I'm gonna throw one of those on. If you wanna go and really embrace the super classic vibe of the sneaker, then you can tuck the whole shirt in, maybe roll your sleeves a couple times. If the weather's warm enough, you're honestly good to go in just that outfit. But if you do still need a jacket, throw on a nice bomber. It doesn't have to be super complicated, but embracing the old school, really classic vibe of the sneaker is a really fun way to style them. How you liking the video so far? If you're enjoying it, hit that subscribe button. I'm always doing style tips. We got five outfit Fridays every week where I give you guys outfit ideas, photography, social media ideas, tons of good content, tons of fun stuff. So since summer's right around the corner, it's finally in the 70s again in LA, which is so nice. I've been able to just wear a t-shirt and be comfortable, but on the East Coast or other parts of the world, when it starts to get warmer, you can absolutely wear these with shorts as well. I like a denim or a chino short, just something casual and relaxed, but keep in mind that if you are going to be wearing them with shorts, oftentimes I like to go ahead and include a crew sock, something that's high enough that it's gonna show out of the top of your sneaker. Up top, go with similar to the last look, just a basic t-shirt, something that you can layer, maybe even a tank top, and then throw on a short sleeve button up over the top of that, and just leave it completely unbuttoned if you're comfortable, maybe roll your sleeves a couple times, just something really casual that you can be wearing in a ton of different places because if you go to the beach or you go to the lake or somewhere hot, you can ditch that shirt and be wearing just the tank top and be warm and comfortable. But if you need to go somewhere where you need to be a little bit more presentable, then you can also have that shirt to either button up if you need to be really clean and nice, or you can just leave it open and be comfortable and casual that way. Now for the casual Friday or the weekend kind of inspired outfit that I mentioned, this is a perfect place to sort of push yourself. Go with a chino pant or some cropped trousers, something that's also gonna land right around the top. If you do a chino, feel free to cuff it like you did with your denim in the first look. If you're doing a cropped pant, throw on a sock that's gonna add a little pop of color. Up top, just grab a casual button-up shirt. I'm a big fan of buttoning it all the way to the top. If that's not your style, that's completely fine. If you need to be a little bit more presentable, then go ahead and tuck the shirt in, or you know, you can even do like a little half front tuck, something very casual and easy, but also just kind of ties the whole look together a little bit better. And then if it's cold enough, grab a denim jacket, something that's gonna contrast your bottom half. So if you are wearing chinos or a cropped pant, 
you probably want to do, you know, a denim jacket or a lightweight bomber, just something that's easy and comfortable, but isn't going to be too formal. Like you wouldn't really want to do a blazer with that outfit. And lastly, for those times when you're going to a really casual summer wedding or you're going on a date and you really want to impress your date with how you look or you're just feeling in the mood to dress up a little bit, these are gonna work great with a suit. Something that's absolutely essential here is to be sure that your suit is nicely tailored. You don't wanna have a bunch of pant gathered over the top of your shoe. Like we mentioned, that's not gonna look right. So get something that is tailored a little bit cropped or even, you know, just right, that's gonna hit right at the ankle with no break and you're gonna look much better. Super bold suits like the one that I'm wearing are a perfect option during the summertime when you are wanting to be extremely casual. For a look like this, I definitely wouldn't do a full-on shirt and tie. If you wanna do a collared shirt, that's great, but just keep the top couple buttons undone, let it open up, show a little bit of that chest, or you can do a graphic tee or a Henley, something that's very comfortable and easy to be worn and still look great, because you're gonna be looking great, so be ready. And there you go, Chuck Taylors. One of the most classic shoes for a reason, guys. They've been around for decades. They would not have stuck around so long if they weren't so versatile and extremely stylish. So whatever your style preference is, if you are a little bit more preppy casual, an all white is great. If you are a little bit more streetwear inspired, a black with a white sole or the triple black, the all black everything is really nice. There's something for everybody. If you're a, a 60s hippie, there's probably a tie-dye pair. That'd be cool. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram for all kinds of other outfit ideas. Tons of inspiration there. Appreciate it. See you next time. Bye.